I'm Nicole Burley. It is Monday, January 2nd. This is News Nation Rush Hour, and we start with some brand new details in the shocking arrest and the quadruple murder of four college students that's gripped the country. We've been covering it closely from Moscow since the very beginning, and then that major breaking news Friday, an arrest in the case 47 days later. Brian Koberger, a graduate student studying criminology at Washington State University, just a 10-minute drive from the University of Idaho campus, he was taken into custody in Pennsylvania. His extradition hearing is scheduled for tomorrow. And we're learning more about his studies under a serial killer expert and a treasure trove of evidence from his apartment. But first, and new just into our newsroom, the father of one of the victims, Kaylee Gonsalves, breaking his silence on this arrest to senior national correspondent Brian Enton, who joins us live from Pennsylvania. So Brian, what did he tell you? Yeah, Nicole, I just wrapped up this conversation uh, with Kaylee's dad, Stephen, uh, still heartbroken, but said initially when they learned about the arrest, uh, they were the first to learn about it from police late Thursday night that the arrest was going to happen. They felt some relief. They even felt joy to a certain extent. Uh, but now the feeling is just uh, being overwhelmed, knowing that the court process is about to begin and that they are going to see the accused killer face to face. Accused Idaho killer Brian Koberger could be in Idaho as early as tomorrow night after a hearing in Pennsylvania where Koberger is expected not to fight his extradition. There's going to be somebody there looking him in the face and letting him know that uh, this isn't going away anytime soon. This is just the beginning. Victim Kaylee Gonzalez's father, Steve, says they are looking for connections between Koberger and Kaylee and the other victims. I'm biased, but if you got to know my daughter, I would think it'd be impossible for you to hurt her. So I think a little bit of us all kind of felt like this was somebody who didn't have a chance to uh, meet her, talk to her, get to know her because she was a very likable person and she didn't have a mean bone in her body. So I think uh, there's a little comfort in knowing that this person wasn't somebody she trusted and loved. Koberger's public defender tells News Nation in mid-December Brian's dad drove back with him from Pullman, Washington to Monroe County, Pennsylvania in the white Hyundai Elantra police have been looking for. His attorney says Koberger is eager to be exonerated. I'm a reporter. Koberger's family did not answer when I went to their house where he was arrested, but released a statement through the public defender saying they're cooperating with law enforcement. And first and foremost, we care deeply for the four families who have lost their precious children. There are no words that can adequately express the sadness we feel, and we pray each day for them. We will continue to let the legal process unfold, and as a family, we will love and support our son and brother. Before moving to Washington State University, to get his PhD, Koberger got his master's from DeSales University in Pennsylvania. News Nation has obtained this photo of Koberger taken during a group project at DeSales University in 2019. Students who studied with him tell News Nation they've been told to only talk to police because they could potentially be called as character witnesses in the case. They did say he was, quote, controlling during the group project. What do you make, Steve, of the fact that, you know, he was getting his PhD? In criminal justice and had his master's in criminology um, and sort of had this knowledge of the way the system works? Um, I feel like he definitely was into this type of thing. He had made a lifetime commitment to, you know, wrapping himself into crime and solving crime and figuring out how people got caught, interviewing people, doing different things that a normal student wouldn't be so interested in so i think he uh, maybe maybe uh, got a little overconfident and didn't realize that there really is no perfect way to commit a crime Okay, so tomorrow, Koberger will be in court in the courthouse behind me here in Monroe County, Pennsylvania. We expect him to waive uh, his extradition hearing, and he could be on his way back to Idaho uh, as early as tomorrow afternoon. Nicole? All right, so Brian, you've also been digging into his and to, to Koberger's connection to a well known serial killer. Yeah, this is a crazy connection, Nicole. Basically, Koberger's professor at DeSales University here in Pennsylvania 
uh, is the pretty much preeminent expert on the serial killer BTK. Interviewed him, uh, had a number of intimate interviews with BTK, the serial killer, uh, over the course of about 10 years, and then wrote the autobiography on BTK for BTK. BTK's daughter is speaking exclusively with us about this connection and even questioning whether uh, Koberger may have been corresponding with her father in prison. Uh, you're going to hear that exclusive interview coming up in about 30 minutes. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.